There's a famous saying that in life, there are no shortcuts to success. But in the world's most competitive racing game, that couldn't be further from the truth. In Trackmania Nations Forever, the only thing that matters is your time at the finish line, no matter how you achieve it. In the 12 years since the game was released, many players have found and performed incredible shortcuts on tracks. Usually these shortcuts save anything from a few hundreds to sometimes a few seconds versus driving the intended way. But those numbers pale in comparison to what you'll see in this video. Because for over a decade, Trackmania players have been actively searching for the biggest shortcut in the game. And this hunt for perfection led players to saving minutes and eventually hours on tracks. This is the story of the quest for the biggest shortcut in Trackmania. There are many ways you could measure what the biggest Trackmania shortcut is, but the metric players have traditionally used is the total time a shortcut way saves over the intended way. And in order to save a lot of time, you first need a track that takes a lot of time to complete. Our story begins in March of 2013, when Jav, an infamous Trackmania shortcut player, made a video about the track Longest Track Ever. This track isn't actually the longest one ever, but that's how it was named when it was built in 2010. The track has two checkpoints, one at the very start of the track and one at the ending. But in order to collect the second checkpoint, you first need to drive all the way up to the top, spiraling back and forth at the entire length of the stadium, six times in a row, taking around 45 minutes to complete. Jav and his team were frustrated with this track, and they wanted to see if they could shortcut it, and what they found was amazing. You see, the author of the track had tried to be cheeky and place some speed traps at the end of each level, where if you weren't aware of them, you launch right off the track, forcing you to start all the way over again. Jav and his teammates discovered that they could use this speed trap to their advantage, when on the 5th of March 2013, Jav uploaded this run to the leaderboards. Jav started out by taking the first checkpoint. And then, instead of continuing on the road, he went out on the grass and drove a lap around the stadium, skipping the first layer of the track. Then, he climbed back onto the track at the end of the first layer, just before the speed trap. He then went at full speed, and right at the end of it, he steered sharply to the left to bounce on the road border, flying and landing perfectly on the middle part of the stadium. From there, he gathered speed on the outside and when the time was right, steered sharply to the right to bounce up on the roof of the stadium. He then drove all the way up to the glass and dropped down underneath the big pipe to land perfectly on the road in front of the second checkpoint. He picked it up, dropped down to the grass and drove to the finish, completing the track in 1 minute and 28 seconds and pulling off a shortcut route that saved 43 minutes. Quite the time saver. Most shortcuts in the game only saved a few seconds, and finding one that saved more than 43 minutes was going to be very difficult if someone wanted to beat the biggest shortcut record. But a few months later, a new track had sprung up that was even longer, and if it could be shortcut, it would completely crush the biggest shortcut record. This track is simply called This Track Is Possible. It was built by the mapper Ignatil in 2011, and originally it started out as a puzzle. Ignatil challenged other Trackmania players to finish it, and at first it seemed pretty straightforward, just drive to the finish line. But this red block is an engine off block that permanently shuts off your car's engine, and because of the anti-boosters pointed against you, it's not possible to just drive to the finish line. Even with perfect driving, skipping the anti-boosters, you still don't get far enough. So how do you finish it? Well, by driving upside down. This is the original solution to Ignatil's puzzle, where in the start, Ignatil intentionally drives upside down, doing a technique called a turtle, where by rocking the car back and forth, kind of like a turtle stuck on its back, it's possible to drive upside down, since the wheels touch the ground and accelerate the car. He turtles across the engine off block, and drives as far as he can reach until the car stops, still far away from the finish. But when upside down, the Trackmania car has a very slow default movement, 
at the pace of one block per hour. And since the distance to the finish here is 16 blocks long, the solution to the puzzle is to wait for 16 hours until your car finally crosses the finish line, making it the longest track in Trackmania history. This track is possible drew a lot of attention from shortcutters, because if the map could be somehow exploited, it would easily be the biggest shortcut in the game's history by several hours. But finding a shortcut was not easy, because the only way to shortcut the track would be to somehow skip the engine off block but it seemed like there was no way to get past it. Two years passed without any players managing to shortcut the track, but in the summer of 2013, that all changed when Tortugo uploaded this run to the leaderboard. Forty six point forty eight, beating the world record on the track by fifteen hours and forty one minutes, easily making it the biggest shortcut in the game. Tortugo had performed a gravity defying bounce, majestically soaring like a high jumper perfectly over the bar, making it up on the road and skipping the engine off block. This record would stand for a little over a year until in two thousand and fourteen. Ignatil decided to update this track as possible to prevent shortcuts. The main change though was that he added walls to block the ledge Tortugo had launched from, and there was now seemingly no way to skip the engine off block. The track was widely considered shortcut proof, and it seemed like players would have to look somewhere else if they wanted to break the biggest shortcut record. But that's before the shortcut nation attacked. Meet FWO, fastest way only a Trackmania team solely dedicated to finding unique and interesting shortcuts on tracks. In 2015, they were requested to try This Track Is Possible to see if they could set the biggest shortcut record. And sure enough, they found a very promising idea. Fastest Way Only had figured out that the engine off block would only activate when your wheels had grip on the surface. This happens both when the car is on wheels and when it's upside down. But technically, if one managed to get across the engine off block without having grip, it would never activate, and you could then skip the 16 hour long waiting part at the ending. But how exactly would you get across? Well, this is a two wheel. For the longest time, two wheels used to just be a fun coincidence players would include in their montages, as it was a very rare position to get the car stuck in. But on this track is possible, FWO discovered that they could use the two wheel to their advantage because while in a two-wheel, the car doesn't have grip with the surface. Meaning that if you got one which drifted across the engine off block, you could easily shortcut the track. But the trick itself was by no means easy. They first had to flip the car from being upside down to being perfectly balanced on the side without tipping over, and then hope that the default movement of the car sent it across the engine off block. It took many, many attempts, but finally, Edge managed to set the first shortcut time on the track after the new update. Even in the world record run, it took Edge many attempts to get stuck in the perfect two-wheel position, but he finished with a time of 28 minutes, still saving over 15 hours versus the normal way. When Ignatil heard the news of the shortcut, he updated the track, adding a pipe above the engine off block, which made two-wheeling across it now impossible. But in the update, he also messed up and accidentally created some holes in the grass layers, which now had an edge you could conveniently bounce against. And the player Panos was able to complete the track in just 31 seconds, even beating Tortugo's original shortcut time. But after that was patched too, no one managed to shortcut the track ever since. But there was another hope for players wanting to break the record. In 2015, Simo900 created a track called The Spiral. This track takes advantage of another default movement in the game, which is that the car will slowly move backwards when stuck in this position on a rail. Once you've gotten into that position on the rail, you can leave your computer running, get some rest, and return the next day to drive the car into the finish. 
This was the new longest track in the game, taking 30 hours and 30 minutes to complete. But could the track be shortcut somehow? Well, Simo 900 had been very thorough. The track has several ring checkpoints that you have to pass through to get to the finish. And the only way of doing that is by going onto the rail. So the only hope for a shortcut was once again to skip the engine off block. In 2018, I myself gave the shortcut a fair shot. I had found a setup for getting the car upside down on the start, but I quickly discovered that getting the car into a two-wheel position was much harder since you had very limited space to work with. And to add to that, you'd also need a very specific two-wheel drift that would go towards the wall before the car just fell off the edge. After a lot of hours of trying, I only managed to get into the two-wheel position once, and that attempt quickly died. And after that, I decided to give up for the time being. It seemed like there was no possible way to shortcut the spiral, and I forgot about the track for a while. But then, in March of 2020, the event Khakis Khaki 5 was hosted, a competition where players build crazy tracks, exploiting unique bugs, and show them off to the community. One of the tracks in the competition, Khakis Khaki 100 built by Wasker, was almost exactly like the spiral. A series of engine off blocks followed by an impassable uphill if you tried to just drive normally. I noticed that his author time was under 20 seconds, whereas a two-wheel run would take several minutes. It could only mean one thing. Wasker had found a new way to skip engine off blocks. A little while later, Wasker revealed the trick to the world. By getting the car to turtle and then driving against the wall at a very specific angle, it's possible to lock the front wheel driving against the wall. And since the other wheels are all in the air, you can skip the engine off block this way without ever touching it. A tremendous discovery. Immediately after seeing this, I told Wasker about the spiral. And though it was late into the night, we went onto the map to try it out. Sure enough, the trick worked there as well. But the problem on the spiral was that after skipping the engine off block, you still had to drive across the entire rail without falling off to save time. And that's much easier said than done. The safest way to drive on a rail is to have the back wheel on and the other three wheels hanging off. With this position, you should never exceed 45 speed on the turns and 25 speed on the straights, else the car will climb over the rail and you'll fall off. You can also never let go of steering to the right or the car will fall as well. Considering that we started trying this at 4.30 am, it was one of the most stressful things I've ever done. But after a little over one hour, we both reached the finish line, setting the new world record for the biggest shortcut in the game. 29 hours and 30 minutes saved. But still, there was one final way to improve the record further, and one thing that both me and Wasker forgot about in the heat of the moment. Going backwards across the rail. It's harder for the Trackmania car to climb over the rail backwards, so the speed limits become 40 on turns and also 40 on straights. This meant that one could go pretty much twice as fast across the rail, and when I realized this, I decided to play the track again on stream. That's still pretty good. That's still pretty good, boys. 30 minutes and 11 seconds. Beating the normal way record by 30 hours and 4 minutes. Which is where the world record stands today. After the Wasker trick was discovered, it has since been used to set the world records on other tracks with engine off blocks, since it's a fast and efficient way to get across, and the acceleration payoff can hardly be understated but perhaps there will be an even faster method in the future. For now though, this is the history of the biggest shortcut in Trackmania. Thanks for watching. A sincere thank you to all my patrons for making this video possible. If you want to become a patron, I'll leave a link in the description below. Until next time, have a good one.